Jane Fraser, an executive at Citigroup, has an amazing outlook on life that has helped her achieve success in every area of her life including her career in finance. About Jane If you are not familiar with Jane, she is a well-known figure on Wall Street. She was born in 1972 and graduated from Stanford University in 1996. She joined City shortly thereafter and rose quickly through their ranks. She now heads up their alternative investments group which includes hedge funds, private equity funds and credit derivatives. As of 2013 she has over $800 billion under management in her department. About her career Jane M. Fraser is an executive vice president and head of private bank product management at Citigroup, a global financial services firm. She leads strategy and market development for Citi's corporate banking, private bank and investment bank businesses worldwide as well as alternative investments in Asia Pacific. She was formerly president of Global Wealth Management for Asset Management at the Bank of New York Mellon and led its alternative investments business. Previously she spent 17 years at Goldman Sachs in a variety of leadership roles including managing director of alternative investments services. Prior to joining Goldman Sachs in 1998, she was a vice president in fixed income derivative sales trading at Bankers Trust Company for five years after spending six years in structured finance sales at Chemical Bank Corporation. About her personal life Jane Fraser is married to James Carville and lives in New York. Jane is originally from London, England and enjoys shopping at Harrods. She's a big fan of yoga and has attended retreats in Rishikesh, India. Her favorite book is The Secret and International Bestseller about positive thinking that she once tried to get Oprah Winfrey to film as a movie but was turned down. What she learned from making mistakes In her career, Ms. Fraser has been involved in some of City's biggest deals in recent years including its $31 billion US dollars acquisition of private equity firm Blackstone Group and $4 billion US dollars buyout of food service company Aramark. As a banker, you're going to make mistakes it's inevitable, she says. However, one thing she learned from these failures is that it is possible to learn from your mistakes without taking a demotion or getting fired. Mistakes are okay as long as you can still perform well and deliver results at work even after your mistakes. Advice for budding leaders Taking on a leadership role is like moving to a new city. You have to learn how things work and who's who. When you start to feel comfortable, then you need to remember that everyone is watching you and depending on you. City Executive Jane Fraser Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. Subscribe us to see more valuable videos.